the December 9th meeting of the Housing Committee uh, called to order. Uh, our first item of business is going back to the uh, minutes of October 7th. We never... Nope, we haven't had a quorum. Now we do. So... You had the minutes with you. <laughs> I don't even know if I was here. That was the problem. Okay. Someone said, we don't have a quorum. And I think that someone was you. Okay. So here, here's a copy of the minutes. Thank take, you, take a, take a quick uh, uh, look oh, see. I was here. I was here. I was here. Oh, yeah, that was back when we approved that application. Okay. So those are the minutes. Okay. To wait for a community piece. That was right. We wanted to see the housing authority's application to, so we didn't vote on it. Right. What's the, um, just to remind me, what's the CDP involved the trust? May also take over market. Market is be part of the $50,000 requested. What's the $50,000? C, 5CB. Do you remember, Cindy, what the 50 is from? It could be a part of the 50,000. CDP. The 50,000 is the, is the request for, for under, uh, under the um, CPC thing. The part of the 500,000 are, okay. is 50,000 for the CDP to have that person or persons be the consultant for the housing trust. So I don't know how this relates to that comment. The housing trust. I'm going to be part of the fifty thousand dollar request. So, what you're saying there is like the C, that like that that CDP emissary community development partnership. Yeah. Okay. The emissary could be could be the people that do the marketing. They are, by the way, they're creating a marketing plan as we speak. Right. So that's part of all their stuff. Okay. So, yeah, they they bumped that up to fifty thousand. Figure there's going to they're going to be putting more more time going forward. Right. More time. Uh, you know, yeah. in, in supporting uh, the housing trust, so that's why that that's where the fifty thousand uh, came from. Right, I, I know that because this application came in front of us, and part of the five hundred thousand okay. was the explanation of the fifty. Right on CBC. That's right. And, um, so, are you saying here that they would do that marketing plan? Uh, this obviously is a, a. This is not what they call. I call the action plan. Yeah. Okay. So we're talking two different uh, okay. things here. The action plan is is also going to be done by an outside consultant firm. For CDP? Yes. No, no, not not for CDP. No, CDP is going to do the action plan. Okay. Yeah. The marketing plan. Correct. It's a marketing. Both. Both. But there's, there's gonna apparently gonna two different it. things. Two different things. So I, I don't know who's going to do the action plan. I'm sorry, but oh right. Yep. So we should want to vote that, on that's these. That's what I was going to say. The action plan is the trust, but that's what we're. Right. Okay. So all, the, well, all we're talking about right now is the minutes of the, the okay. October uh, uh, 7th meeting. Uh, do we concur? I concur. I vote to approve the uh, minutes of October 7th, okay. 2019. Any discussion? I'll second. Second. Okay. And so we're going to vote? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, voted in that. Okay, thank you. That, that's out of the way. So now moving right along, I, uh, I had expected to John Stewart to be here tonight, but apparently he's uh, uh, detained. Uh, I so bet he's a grandfather now. Remember? Well, or maybe already. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think in October yeah. he was going to be the executive director of uh, the Housing Authority. Housing Authority. Oh, John Stewart. John Stewart. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's a nice so, guy. Uh, and and we were still in limbo about uh, voting to uh, approve his application for CPC for two two hundred thousand dollars to continue the uh, rental assistance program. But um, but I believe he still presented it. No, he's all done. Yeah, he, he presented. It. So yeah, so, that, so this this is going to vote uh, on Thursday. Okay, with so the fifteen. So, so that's off the table. Yeah. Okay. So moving right along here. So the the, the item B here. Uh, uh, to, to discuss, uh, I made a presentation to the Board of Selectmen on the 21st, mm. and let me see if I have a copy of that presentation and can take a quick, uh, it, it's, it, it's, 
it's history now, but. I already saw it. Maybe you just want to see it. No, no, I saw you on TV. Did you see me on TV? Yeah. I, I won't ask how I, I came across. I don't know if you, maybe, you, maybe you saw this Sunday night. I didn't know. This, this was my presentation. Thank you. From the 21st. I, I, I kept it, you know, a Short very, very, vanilla, good. very generic. Um, but just basically stating, you know, we were looking to uh, become part of the solution uh, and, and join forces with the trust in any way that could be uh, hammered out. Uh, that, pre that presentation in the same words was also presented to the Housing Trust in the, uh, the following meeting after the, 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 uh, in, uh, in November's meeting, I believe it was. So that, that's just for basic information. Yep, I have to do you. anything about that. Uh, okay, the next item, the Town of Orleans. I was just, before you got here, I was talking to uh, with, with uh, Joe here. The town of Orleans has, has found a pathway between the trust and the committee. And they put together what I call this manifesto, 20 plus pages long. Bear with me, I didn't, cop mm -hmm. didn't copy all 21 pages again. But what I did copy, for everyone's uh, information, I pulled uh, a couple pages out that I thought was interesting. Yeah. Uh, some of the pages are, were uh, uh, taken right out of their housing production plan, graphs and figures and stuff like that, and, and similar uh, things that are in our housing production plan, because their housing production plan, production plan was, I believe, was put together by the same person that put ours First together. Karen Schoenberg. Karen, right. Yep. So it kind of follows the mm -hmm. same thing, but uh, the, the numbers are geared toward, toward that. They really reflect what's happening in Orleans. So, uh, you can take a few minutes and read that over. And, but they are um, forward leaning in their mm -hmm. approach to uh, a, a joint effort between the two committees. And that, you know. Um, uh, I was quite surprised. That was sent to me by Donna Kelnick. Yeah. And I have a working relationship with Katie Wibby, who's the chair. Okay. First, the roles and responsibilities is interesting. Isn't it? What? Act as an agency of the town, or probably only the trust could act as an agency. Right. But I mean, there's d obviously distinctions yeah. because you know. So the trust retains responsibility specifically financial, which means they lead. Right. Well, they yeah. Uh, I think Cindy honed in on the on the most important page, but yeah, everything else is other stuff. But this just, this is kind of the meat of the, uh, the whole document, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Um, it's kind of global, though, unless unless there's something that I missed inside the bigger pa pa packet. Yeah. Global in terms of 
actual action responsibilities mission of like what's what I, I know what affordable trust housing, housing trust right. roles are mostly financial right but they didn't give a specific role to the housing committee unless I missed that oh I think on page 11 11 yeah page 11 which is the third page in this Before oh I see it yeah Turn to create and maintain that's unbelievable I almost flipped it to the trust yes that we're here to support I mean, we seven can't members. create. <laughs> seven well, members. I'm yep. going to get seven members. Well, the thing that's interesting is any ideas that are formulated by the two two separate committees are to be just are to be discussed jointly. Right. You know, those, we're not supposed to sit back and wait for them to come. But if we have a, a, a housing idea yeah. of something we think should be pursued. We should automatically present that to the trust, right? And vice versa. So, in other words, both committees are kind of kind of running in in parallel, you know, or tandem or something. Yeah, uh, type of thing. Uh, true, the trust would be the financial. Uh, uh, they they hold the checkbook, mm -hmm. so to speak. And that's why it was created. So yeah, that's why it was that created. money was available, was available. and so had opportunities. Hmm. So, anyways, I mean, th this is this is a good framework. This is a, a, a good starting point. I mean, it, it doesn't mean we have to, you know, craft the same thing or. or can maybe, can but, but but it's a good. It gets yeah, it gets you thinking. Absolutely. And other to other towns, I've come to uh, understand, and here, uh, and, and when I'm going to some of these other uh, meetings and so on and so forth, they are doing similar things. They are pulling the resources between the two committees and having them work uh, in a collaboration uh, mode. So, uh, so with this in mind, okay, uh, in in the uh, in last week's um, well, it was actually two weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago uh, in the November first. Um, Trust meeting. I was there in attendance, and Don Hall approached me, and he invited me verbally uh, to have a joint meeting between the trust and the housing committee. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, sometime in January. Okay. So my first thing I said two things. First of all, I said number one, I said I think it was a great idea. I said, but number two, I said you have to remember, I said. Uh, uh, the trust usually meets in the afternoon. I says, you know, all the members except myself on the uh, housing committee, they all have eight to nine, eight to five job type things, and it's it's very hard for them to kind of break away from their day to day work says, during the day. So he says, no problem. He says, we'll we'll plan a evening meeting. So. Uh, I don't, I don't know if we have to vote on it or whatever we got to do on it, but if, if we, so we're, we're having a discussion on it. I'm, 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 I want to hear from the rest of the committee sitting here tonight. Mm. Uh, good, bad, or indifferent idea. I would certainly welcome a, meet, a joint meeting. Yeah. I, I think it's needed. Yeah. Okay. So now the next thing is I want to I go back and want to communicate with Don again. Okay, so we, we're in agreement that so we'll have the joint meeting. Now we, we have to at least kind of put together some time frame. And we know number one there will be, and he agreed, it has to be in the evening. Mm -hmm. It will be in the evening. Okay. So that's one criteria. What days are better than other days? Let's, let's see if we can come to, so I can give him some. I'd say time. middle of the week. I mean, you know, if you can do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, and Thursday. Mm -hmm. It gives me enough time, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Mondays are tied up because of uh, board of select meeting yeah. on Monday nights. So that's yeah. off. Monday's off the table to be in with. I'm sorry. To okay. go back to the Orleans, they at least at least Orleans has somebody from the Affordable Housing Committee on the trust. 
Yeah. Only one person that I can tell quickly. Good. But we don't even have anybody. No. Uh, that was okay. one of my comments about the trust is I, I, I felt that it should have been a minimum of seven members. We kept it at five. Well, five then it, it kind of you know right away you, you know between the between the the chair and then one 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 active member from the board of selection. Well, that boils it down pretty quick. Right. <laughs> There's not a lot of wiggle room left up there. Right. To, to go and pick from other committees. So that. I don't even know if they think about picking from other committees. I don't think that's. Well, they're not required to. No, no, they're not required to. But there was conversation on that that there should be representation from other committees in town. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that's as far as it went. It was kind of. The idea they wanted to get, they want to be a little more diverse, and that was what kind of was, was uh, driving the, uh, the way with the makeup of it. Well, one of the things you think about is when you go talk to him, to to um, you know, just so you don't you know, have a meeting in January and say, okay, that was good, let's have another meeting. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 we want. I get, I get tired of meetings when we don't accomplish anything. We just have a little go around of nothingness. So to put me to the bone, you should think about what we've been talking about since at least I've been on this thing as it relates to trying to get a, a little bit of inroads and in, in helping the trust. They're all financial. The um, CDP is going to create a marketing and action plan. Mm -hmm. So that we let them create the plan and let us push that plan back out to the community. So marketing and communications to the community is was, was what I think should be a major role with them. I don't think he's going to have a problem with that. Yeah. Unless it's CDP's role with that 50000 the marketing. It, 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 it's a role to create the plan, but it's, it's not like they, 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 won't, they won't take added volunteers to, to help them. True. Right? True. So, okay, so, so we're, in a, we're in a consensus that January is good, uh, evening is good, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night mm -hmm. is seems to work, mm -hmm. barring whatever mm -hmm. life goes on. You know, life life stuff happens and work things happen. So barring that, but now um, our first meeting in in, in January is um, January sixth, and I would think at that time we we put together at least a little working paper. So, so when we go and have a joint meeting, we have some ideas to share with them. Yeah. So we can take, you know, the, the copies I passed out. Uh, I, I can get the link if you want to download this whole thing. But I think what I passed out mm -hmm. it kind of hits the nail on the head as far if as you'd what's send in the here. Link or I'd like, I'd like the it. link just to have it as yeah, a document to go through uh, it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll get the link from uh, um, Don Kellner. Or do you think it's already on there? On their website. Their website. It probably is. Probably is. It's got the logo. It's got the logo. I'm thinking. <laughs> I bet you it's on the website. But I'm by making sure I read through it before yeah. our January meeting. That, that's a good idea. But it, it's all, you know, it, it's, uh, it's actually 23 pages. I said 22. I'm sorry. 23 pages. So I know. And some of it's in color. <laughs> consumed and running off excess paper. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll certainly. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get a copy, I'll get the link, and, 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 or at least, uh, or it, 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 it should be on their website. May, maybe for um, Meg and Mary, if you send the committee the link, but I think we can yeah. find it. Okay. Yeah. Just so they okay, now, uh, can be prepared. Okay. So, okay, so we're in agreement with that. I don't think we have to vote on it. I don't know what your what you have to vote on it. Yeah. No. I'm in favor no. for a okay. pursuing a meeting. So it's a consensus that mm -hmm. we, uh, uh, we pursue that and go forward with it. Okay, that, that, that's great. I'm, I appreciate that. Um, okay, I, 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 Joe, I still have you on the, the docket here. So, uh, you yeah, what's you, the, um, what's E, a Discuss Affordable Housing Trust meeting? Is that something that we just did? No, well, uh, I, I can, uh, I, got, I got a copy of it here, uh, what, what the, uh, the meeting was about. 
Oh, oh here it is. It's in, it's in here. And I can just kind of run down. Um, I didn't mean, make copies of this. It, 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 it was nothing really new of this, this past meeting. Did they vote on anything? On the 21st, did they vote on anything? Uh, they voted to adjourn. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, they did because they had to form new officers because, you know, Chris Clark is yeah. um, out of the picture. So they voted on Don Hall moving up and, um, and so they, they voted on that position. Um, and they voted on the, uh, oh, they, they, they finally, the monies haven't, hadn't been transferred to the trust yeah. Yeah. from previous years. It still wasn't, it's not in the first, out. the first 500,000 wasn't yeah. transferred? Well, I mean, it, it's, it, it's there, but it's not, Earmarked. It, it's not in their, yeah. I would call their, their bank their, account. Their bank account. Yeah. So they voted to have moved that over. Uh, so and and then it's and it's five hundred. They're looking for this year. Or for so the trust voted to finally move the money into their account. So there was a, there was a housing trust monies that come yeah. from the cell tower. Yeah. So that got voted uh, a month or two ago, back in I know October. Or whatever. I forgot that folds into them. Yes, and that that rolls in so. But uh, it wasn't clear whether they have to do that every year or does that become automatic? Uh, there's, there's some, because that was set up and, and so they have to do the research if they can make that automatic. But uh, it's, not gonna come, it's not I can tell you, listen to the CPC, it's not going to come automatic from them. No, no. They have but, to come and apply. But, but this is an account set up from the monies they receive from the cell tower. Yeah. About eight thousand dollars a month, seven eight thousand dollars a month or something. Okay, like that. and I think it had uh, uh, right now it's uh, probably around one hundred and forty, one hundred fifty thousand dollars into something like that because uh, that was that was run down when they uh, uh, for habitat in, in the West Har the West Harwich project. Mm -hmm. uh, they tapped that and they ran it practically down to zero. Uh, so that's where that money's going. And habitat had to go through us. To recommend that, right? It was CPC isn't holding on to the cell tower money. The town is. No town. Town is due. Okay. Town. So you know there was, there was uh, the only the only thing that was uh, uh, it was kind of more of an administrative type meeting, procedural things. There was nothing really new here. Uh, under the item where they have three properties they've been looking at. Yeah. Uh, Oak Street has been taken off the, the board because of, they just discovered that at one time there's a vernal pool on it. Yeah. And so they, they have, uh, they're in the process of having a survey done to find out what portion of that land there that they can actually build on. Yeah. Uh, so it still has a value for housing, but it doesn't have the same value that they originally thought it was going to have right. because they didn't realize that. And then Sisson Road project over here, what I was talking about earlier, uh, that is with the Mass Housing Development Corporation. They're doing the uh, work up on the, uh, you know, going through the environmental impact and, and all that uh, site uh, studies and so on and so forth. But, you know, they got to go ahead and, and, and the contract was signed off with them, but it, it well, Mass Housing's doing that? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, want to bid on? No. <laughs> and then the, the, the third one that was on there was at Deacon's Folly. Yeah. And that was uh, six to seven acres. And that came off because that got sold. Right. And so that that's, that's a non-issue anymore. So that's mm -hmm. a, a good issue. So basically on um, their land inventory looking for uh, Good new projects. The only one that's still open is the Sisson Road project, a uh, property right now. So I'm assuming they're going to drill down and bring the next candidate up and put that candidate down on the list and put that under the micro microscope and see how that fares. 
So this housing plan, I have not seen it yet. Is that also online from 2017? That is online. Okay. And does it does, it, 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 does it have action statements and, and action plans? Well, it, 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 it does. Well, does it relate it to does, land? It, it does point out that who should be doing what. And some of those things have been taken care of. Like the, the, the most notable one was the ADUs, the auxiliary development uh, dwelling development. units. That bylaw was uh, uh, upgraded and passed. It's been a passed up. So that that was so there are some things that you'll read through that that have been accomplished. You know, it wasn't just put on a shelf and, and, and not taken care of. Yeah. Uh, but actually, but of creating new affordable housing Your units, production. It, it hasn't met any goals yet. Right. Okay. So that's that. Uh, so one of the things that came up on the agenda for the housing trust was the property that belongs to the Trinity Church down on 28 mm -hmm. that the diocese is letting go mm -hmm. and they've gone and, and approached the historic commission looking looking to they want to tear it down. So it, apparently it falls into the category, it's a historical house because it's 100 years old or more, but it's not an historical neighborhood. Okay. okay. So, and there was discussion about the trust getting involved. And then there was a discussion about the possibility of moving it, and so on and so forth. So Art Bowden asked the question, well, that's all well and good, like, you know, no one I'm sitting in this room knows how much it costs to move the house. Mm. Okay, and I've seen houses being moved, I've seen ones being prepared to be moved, but I have no idea what it costs. So we, you know, but... Uh, and then to where? And right? then, Not that that's our problem. Well, no, but so, and, and then do you have a plan for the house? So... Uh, but if they, I'm sorry, if they move the historical structure, one would guess that then that land might be available for housing development. No? No, it's, it's the land. That church wants the house gone. They want the land. Um, oh. To, to have a flower beds or whatever they want to do. I thought they wanted to give it up entirely. The house. But there's no there's no maintenance cost to the land. No. They re they seed it and maybe someone mows it or whatever. That's it. That's all they want. Because Is this adjacent to the parking lot? They, they got plenty of parking lot around the church and across the street where the school used to be. No, the house is adjacent to the parking lot. Oh, they yeah. want to move the house, not the church. No, not the church, just the house. The uh, house uh, right, the, right the next to the parking lot. Yeah, I guess that's next to the house. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you're right. it is next to the church. Well, why would we be involved? Or housing, why would... Well, uh, apparently, well... Involved. Why well, housing got involved? Apparently, there was some discussion, and, and it's like one of these things, unless it's written down, no one knows quite who, yeah. how, where it generated from. That at the meeting with the historical commission, the, uh, the word housing got thrown out there, and the trust got thrown out there. They said, well, maybe they would like the house. Maybe they could move it and use it. So, but with nothing written down, nothing communicated in writing, signed, sealed, and delivered. It was just verbal stuff that he said, she said, that type of thing. Hmm. So now they're stopping, and they want to go back to find out if, you know, if that's what was, and, and start over again. Mm -hmm. and, and be, because they're looking to get a, a demolition, but they want, to, they want to tear it down right away. And so uh, if the Housing Trust is interested in it, the first thing they want to do is put a delay in the demolition. And then see if they can come up with a plan for it. They don't want to say we're, we're going to take it. But they don't have any plan for it. Mm -hmm. so I would think the historic would want to put a delay until there might be a plausible. Uh, I don't know if they can or not. I don't know if they historic. Can. I don't know if they really can. I, I, I don't. I you know you're asking I think me. They have before. No. I, and they certainly have stopped. Especially demolition oh, of the historic. In, in <laughs> some America, it sounds like they do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. But, but in historical district, that's. One thing, well, but not in, if it's in a non-historic district. I don't think so. so anyways, I, I, so I this, that I got a lot of discussion, and uh, in fact, uh, I had to put uh, 
fortune to have uh, uh, Father Joe Tull be over my house uh, Sunday afternoon for a little refreshments. And uh, he's, he, he, he's a minister at the uh, Trinity Church. So I asked him, I said, you know, I said, well, what's the deal? I said, well, he didn't know a lot about it. He, didn't, he doesn't get involved in it. He just does his pastoral work, and that's about it. He's, he's basically re he's retired now. But anyways, he said that at one time there was a discussion to make a, um, for the church, to turn it into a, uh, a homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. But that never came to pass. So, because uh, it's a good sign. And apparently, it's in reasonable condition. Been, yeah. It's been maintained to some level. That's Structurally, it, it apparently is, is good. Not perfect, but good. Yeah. So that, that, was, that was an interesting little debate. Yeah. So that, that was about it. And then, of course, the other thing which I brought up is that we, they gave, a, Don Howell gave us a, a formal invitation to join them in a joint meeting. So I thought, wait, well, we, we, after all my uh, shoe banging on the table, finally, yeah. <laughs> it finally yeah, resonated. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, so. Um, then you have a purpose someday. That's pretty much I, what I have to. So. I, I want to turn it over to Joe for as long as he wants to. to want to hear what? what yeah, you're doing. I, I um, well, I just I'd be very on brief on this okay. stuff because it's really, I mean, I'm in this, the beginning stages of it, and I probably, I mean, if if this ever comes to what I envision it being, I would probably be resigned from all these committees because okay, I well, can't be involved. Sure. But I have the reason I'm on this committee is because I have a huge passion for the low to moderate vets and. Um, senior housing and um, I got a really good education from her place at Hack and all of her colleagues uh, for they gave me much too much time like I sucked on an hour and a half out of uh, Elisa who's the director is it Alyssa or Elisa? Elisa. Yeah and she wants me to come back and talk to her about some fund idea she has F-U-N-D because mm -hmm. uh, I told her I was a, my initial planner for 25 years but I just kind of threw out my thought process on what I thought should happen, mm -hmm. and um, to all of you just that you just discussed is, is is a vindication of my thought process of being private and not dealing with all you towns. Because if there's any way to do that, I would. Or if I can deal with the 501c3 entity, I would do that instead. Okay. And um, and. Um, in, 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 in all these trusts, in all these towns, not just in the lower Cape, but throughout the state of Massachusetts, needs housing in a bad way. And uh, Lisa, Lisa was, so, she, was um, she educated me on, on her global research of the state, not just over the bridge, that it's all about rentals. Right. Yeah, and, 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 um, which is be interesting to some of my partners who who have abandoned all of you people in all the towns because for the most part because they don't see any money in it. Mm. But now, and they keep on getting blocked and anything they want to build. But this guy Keith Trott, he, he's going to get sick and tired of listening to me because I'm going to bother <laughs> him all the time. The guy's fascinating to me and it's just what he's always done all his life basically. He's a contractor. And he, I got invited to um, uh, when they pot, start putting the sticks up, and so so it's all mod, mod, module housing. That's the way to go. So um, the eight parcel, eight piece unit. I didn't get the print. I waited forever, but it didn't print out. So this is um, this is the a fifty seven two East Coast Homes, and it's manufactured homes. It doesn't show. There's a better one that was all colored. But this comes from East Coast Homes from um, Somerset, and they they're building they're building the eight units that Keith is contract oh, okay. that that's managing, oh. and um, forget that street, Ridgewood. Cindy Ridgewood. So Ridgewood is eight, and of that six, two are affordable. Eighty percent. Yeah. Yep. So they're meeting all the percentage guidelines, and um, the interesting thing that I thought was great is th th this is hack going to build, own, and manage all eight of these units. And this does not do this thing justice. You should see what they created out. I will I'll, I'll, I'll bring it to the next meeting because there's a nice color picture of the eight units and oh. how they would look. So this is what you're... One of Hack's projects. Yeah. Yep, our first real small 
in, 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 in uh, Hyannis. 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 Yeah. yeah. But the Hyannis most important thing is, there's no way you would go in, in affordable housing in the future unless you do mo modular homes because they're going to roll down the street and all in with the coffee pot, they're going to be 1.2. If you went to a stick builder and he went to three, keep the $2.5 million. It's like night and day. Yeah. So um, this is very easy for me to do, to create, because I've done logistics for 25 years and financial stuff. So what I, what I was excited about is um, anybody can do this with a good Keith Trot in their in their quill. So if you have him as a contractor doing the plans, getting going out and getting the plans done, then it's just a matter of, of, of getting um, the financial backing and, and going forward. But this money, this 1.2, came exclusively. It's all. It's not all in the bank yet. So but this is this is a 1.2. 1.2. 1 for eight. For eight. Eight units. Eight units. Oh yeah. Wait till you see them. Eight. Eight units. Oh, and each of them are a thousand square feet. Actually, there's so they're 1,200 square feet. Six on the top, six on the bottom. That's like 150 units. Thank you. So. Both and they also hack also owns a ton of land, which I didn't realize. So this guy Keith, he's he's kind of the, he's the manages the land. He manages existing properties yep. that you guys have, and and most important, and what he finds fascinating with this other guy Dave. Dave Quinn. Yep. Uh, those two work in tandem for for all the responsibilities of the building out more of these, and um, and they you know the only thing they go into the town for is permitting. They, they're going to get monies from other places, but we did. We got money from the state from yeah. a special initiative fund. Yeah, um, and I do think we went to CPC. Five hundred thousand. Yeah, they get two five hundred thousand dollar pots and a two hundred fifty thousand thing from the state. I don't know where the third five hundred came from. I think hack for the was it hack, hack money? Hack money. Yeah, just to increase rental units. I think. Right. Good. Not in development at hack, but I do believe. So then, hack owns it. Though. But hack will own it. And they're going to and they're going to try their hand at managing because mm -hmm. any management company takes ten percent, mm -hmm. right. so big number, mm -hmm. and it really doesn't seem to be negotiable. So, um, um, so anyways, yeah, I, I I I'm looking at doing that with some friends of mine that are actually mm -hmm. there's a couple of local builders here in this town and around. So, yeah. um, I can see you making a presentation to the housing trust. Yeah, I mean, this is the type of thing they're looking for over here. About eight units, right? On system, on the system, what I call a right. project. Well, you know, some big corporate guy came to them. I was at that meeting, or I saw it on TV. Corporate company, and they're from all over. The, they, they have they have operations all over yeah. the country. I forget the name, but they they got it down. You know what I mean? So was they were Poma? very impressed with that. Preservation of affordable housing. Yeah. Poma? They're very impressed with that, with what they had. You know, is in, in, in all their responsibility, but. What I liked about Alyssa, Alyssa is um, everyone she gave me to contact, between she and Keith, like I'm, I'm in the middle of having six different meetings with six different people in all of this, this discipline. And they're all local, which I think is very important. And, um, you know, in terms of hiring, in terms of the entity that's going to help you build, you know. So, um, anyways, I'm going to meet with. Um, um, these guys, East Coast, Dave Magna. and then Dave Magna, and then I'm going to meet with some guy at Cape Associates at uh, Holcomb. I forget his name. Matt. Oh, Matt Cole. Yeah, I'm going to meet Matt Cole next uh, next uh, Tuesday. Hmm. So um, he's going to show me what Holcomb looks like, and so um, and this was another group that she sent me to, and I'm meeting this woman next week. And she's navigatorelderhomes.com. This is really interesting. Renee. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Does everyone know Renee? No. Oh, I, I just met Renee. Okay. For well, Renee has been in the build out and of, of of housing and stuff for thirty years, and she created a group, which I love. They're all women too, except for one guy, and they all have major roles. She has a she's a communications woman. She has. Oh, they're in. Uh they're, build, they're building a project in. Um, they're in Yamathport. Um, maybe it's a different one. So they they grabbed onto the model. They're in they're in Yamathport. They're headquartered 
in Yavaport, they're in Hyannis, there's a project, there's like three different projects in the lower Cape. But they grabbed onto the model of the greenhouse project, which is, which is, mm. which is across the country. So, um, so they, they consider themselves to be a development partner of the greenhouse party. It's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but what I, what I like is all the people that I'm talking to, they, they don't have an agenda. Like, hack, I, they couldn't have told me like a half dozen times, we want to partner with everybody. They have a mission statement to grow housing. They don't really, they're not competitive, I guess is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So this is what I like about this group because there's more than enough room to go around mm -hmm. yeah. in building. And you can actually, you know, my, you know, I'm a capitalist, so I want to make money at this, mm -hmm. but I also want to build it for the right people. Right. And I think you can do both. Mm -hmm. um, there's a guy that I know in Providence that, that does this already in Rhode Island, and um, he can build standalone um, 1,200, I think it's 1,250 uh, square foot home, smart home, one of those smart homes mm -hmm. with um, you walk in and talk to Google Alexa oh, if you yeah, want yeah, to and all the wires go through the walls and the whole thing and the insulation and everything, all the trim is all plastic, there's no wood, it's like really smart build, you know, and that's that's modular. But anyways, he built 250 and he, he can take I think he's going to take uh, 85000 out of each one of those builds for profit, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. But the only way you can do this, in my eyes, is, is a volume-based thing. You know what I mean? So you have one project, like the Housing Trust in Cicero, and I'm like, all right, there's one. i got to have the next one right, right yeah, behind it, have, yeah. or I'll just, well, I'll just fall in the vine, yeah, right. you know? So whether um, it's a, it, whether it's a, a group, there's an interesting yeah. group. You or oh. even an agency has to have the same view. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. But all the, what I'm interested in, CDP is the same way. Jay uh, Coburn, no, Jay Coburn yeah. had a, uh, talked at the last breakout session they have, you know, oh, for, and, um, and it was in Howitch. And um, he talks about how do we get to a building thing like Hack? Because I said, listen, isn't there a conflict of interest in what you're doing? He said, not at all. Mm -hmm. Lawyers, check it out. We're all good to go. We can do everything. He seems to think it is, and he's trying, I don't know why. Conflict of interest on? Um, in terms of having a building arm mm -hmm. and actually educating and helping all these people in other pieces. I don't know why he does, but um, he's, he's looking into basically what uh, an arm of Keith Trott. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, and this is, this, is, this is the greenhouse project, this is like, you know, it's just okay. a one pager of who they are, mm -hmm. and if you go to that website, you'll see. Okay. But all of these people, what I what I loved about um, Renee is, she she has a really interesting concept. This guy is the same way. It's what she learned from. It's basically, we want to help. Um, we want to we want to build so we can make money, but it, and, and we want to help. We want to have like one of her projects is a house. But our, our, our mission statement is to build a house for 12 people, of which most of them have dementia, mm -hmm. and so the skilled s s services going in there 24/7, so that you make money on that, mm -hmm. right? And then, but in the same vein, she she would never build one of those if she didn't have an extra lot for an additional load of mod uh, for workforce group. Mm -hmm. She's very committed to to creating housing for workforce. Yeah. And that's why, and that's why the towns and the affordable trusts are gonna are gonna be very, very accommodating to her. Mm -hmm. I would think she's very busy um, um, in giving her some land. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, good. yeah, I'm just amazed by all the money that's out there. I have another friend of mine, Peggy, who runs a community development director in Plymouth, and she tells me there's a builder that's building out, and he asked for her and got from various sources. Um, all infrastructure money to build an enormous facility, f uh, rental thing in, in Plymouth, and Plymouth has a lot of land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And between four different, whether it be the state, the mm -hmm. feds, the city, the town of, which, which will be a city soon, Plymouth's 50,000 people, um, $1.3 million before he even starts. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty of money there, you know? So that's all. I just okay. Well, that, that, that's that's funny. That's yeah. very good. So now we know what you what you do it yourself, Jennifer.
Yeah, no, I know. It does <laughs> actually. I think it's extra. <laughs> this is extra. Yeah, yeah, it is extra. But, um, but you know, I, I, I'm just trying to utilize all my skills. You got an extra uh, copy of that, uh, the, the building you're putting up, the uh, one here. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you a better one. It's the, it's the okay. colored one of the one page that shows okay. um, all the different ones uh, in, as a front view. So, so Keith's telling me, so here it is, here's the eight, here's the eight right here, you see right in front of you, yeah. You see the two car under that? There's a two car under. And then it goes up two more uh, floors. So you have a first floor that's 630 six square feet, second floor is another 630 with two or three bedrooms. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Everything is 10 feet wall, so it looks bigger. It's just what I, I conceptualize in my mind to build, you know. And then there's a two car under. He says, Joe, if people don't want that because it's modular, you just collapse it down and you, get more, and you take on more space and you get rid of the garages. And they can do all that mm -hmm. at the at the pre-stage, you know. So that's, I think modular is the way well, to go. Well, you know, this, this is something that, that at our joint meeting, could, you could kind of work something in for that. Yeah. You know, th because this is something that I, I don't believe the trust, you know, they haven't they haven't looked at a lot of things. They're only looking at very few things. I would agree. Uh, you know, they've, talked, they've had a few developers come in and and, and, and hawk their wares, so to speak. Mm. And, and 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 that's one of the things that it demonstrated that they weren't really, I hate to say, it, ready for prime time. Uh, well, th what, you know what I pick up from this woman, Renee, is me knowing a lot about veterans because mm -hmm. of my background mm -hmm. and what they get for money. You can create so so you 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 go to the trust and you say we, I'll build I want to build load of mod or senior or whatever you want mm -hmm. me to build I'll build what you want me to build, mm -hmm. but I also want another plot of land right next to it or close by for a veterans site for veterans, mm -hmm. because they get paid every month, one hundred percent. If the rent goes up, they get more money mm -hmm. for the rest of their lives. So now you're dealing with the Vietnam era, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, the newest group is. Um, Iraq, Iraq, yeah. yeah, in PS PTSD, and they can't live anywhere else, and because they mm -hmm. try to kill everybody, and they need all the services, so they go into these vet homes, and they get a lot of services in the vet homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Anyways. Well, thank you very much, Joe. Yeah. Good thing. Okay. Uh, do we have any other comments before we? Uh, send anything else? No, want to add no, to them? That's great, Joe. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Okay, so we're clear with the uh, the joint meeting pretty much, so mm -hmm. communicate that and Thank keep you. you posted. Okay, our next meeting is scheduled uh, January 6th, and I think at that time we, we, we got, you know, we got part of this, and we can get more of it, mm -hmm. and uh, at least have walked through the door when we have our joint meeting with something on a piece of paper, you know, just a little ready for some talking points. You know, just do, do you know when the next Housing Trust meeting is? And if you do, how do you know? Because I can't find it. I'm sure it's somewhere on that website. Well, if, if you want, if you log on to the Housing Trust, yeah, uh, and on the sidebar, we'll, we'll tell you when your next meeting is. But um, I find it. I'm able to find this. I, I, it's hard. <laughs> but 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 generally the, they don't. Like, but generally they don't they don't post the meeting date until almost just shortly before the meeting. Shortly, like 48 hours or less? No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, their meetings have been running about the, the, the third or fourth uh, Thursday of each month. But they also yeah. meet during the day. They meet during the day. They meet during the day. Uh, this one was 3 o'clock in the afternoon, this past one. Okay. Uh, for whatever reason. But they were meeting at 2 o'clock, which, you know, I'm the only one sitting in the audience. Just about. Well, they're pretty much, the, uh, isn't the housing trust made of all employees of the town? I was gonna say, is it volunteer today, or is it not that not, not that it's our problem? No, no, it's, it's I think but it's all employees of the town. No, no. Well, well, the, well. Oh, except for Larry. Yeah. Well, Larry's retired, and he's in Florida now. Yeah. And he communicates, uh, you know, electronically. Right. Long distance. Uh, Don Howell, I I don't know what his status is. I believe he's semi-retired or something. I don't know exactly. What it is. Right. And then you got the chair, which was Chris. Uh, so he just goes down the hall, you know, or you know. And then uh, Charlene was because uh, she's the ex she off she, now or she's still staying on. Well, she's she's a she's here. In, she's retiring in next uh, in July. No, 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 oh, in July. In July, okay. In July of 2011. That's what she says. Yeah, they'll, they'll make her an offer she can't refuse, and she'll stay. Right. 
maybe. <laughs> maybe. And uh, uh, Judith uh, Underwood, uh, she's, I don't know exactly what she does, but she, she has a regular, regular daytime. Oh, so it's not all town employees. Yeah, but, but she, she makes the meetings. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, Brendan uh, Lowry, he works for Cape Associates. Uh, he's, he, I think he's a, he's a like a, a he's a project a, a, manager. Project manager, yeah. that's the term. So he he, 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 yeah. he can get you know between projects he can run in and for a couple hours, an hour and a half. So. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it, it's don't tell Matt Colbert. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Yeah. There's your meeting. There's your meeting. Okay. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make the motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Approved. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, attending and coming out in this. Uh, That's all right. Sorry, I was so a few minutes late. So